I live here in the Berkshires in Massachusetts, and it's all beautiful, wild lands, you know, and so I see coyotes and owls and bears and foxes and turkeys and all this kind of stuff. But basically, every time I have a wildlife sighting, the animal isn't really doing anything in particular. Like the fox is looking around the meadow, and then he goes off into the woods. And that's what really happens when you go into nature. I came across this image of, of these California vaqueros in the 19th century uh, uh, ro roping the grizzly bear. And these vaqueros were not allowed to carry guns. So they got incredibly good and very, very deadly at throwing these lassos um, and would even kill each other with these lassos. I mean, if you're on horseback and you had one of these things, they said they could shoot them like a gun. The thing would come at you so fast and hit you, grab you, and then they just gallop off on horseback. So they used to do, do a lot of grizzly bear hunting with these, with these rayadas. And they'd get killed doing it, but this was like bullfighting. It became a very exciting part of California culture. Anyway, just seeing the image of a, of a bear getting roped was an, enough for me to want to make a painting about it. And it's like a narrative of the West that isn't what you usually see, and that's in some ways a lot darker. The stories are about human culture as as it impacts nature and nature as it impacts human culture. So they're, they're animals in the human imagination rather than animals in nature or in any other context. We're driving across the US, my leg is just fucked. And then somehow I get staph infection in my face. And I'm like, it's, it's like three in the morning. My, it looks like I have an egg coming out of my, like right here on my face. Dude, it was insane. I was like, this is insane.